Hello friend, how are you today? I am was trying really hard to get this traced before I went live, but as you can tell, it apparently did not manage to happen. So I am tracing using my carbon paper the little hummingbird on my card here. I'm gonna switch camera views real quick for you. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay. Um, I have permission to use my friend's hummingbirds and stuff. So, oop, I didn't get his eye. Kind of need the eye. At least for placement, we kind of do. And then let's see what else we got. I think I've got everything else for the bird. Now, flowers, I'm not going to worry about. I can do any little red flower. And that'll be fine. My mom loves hummingbirds. And so I'm planning on doing her a little card with a hummingbird on it. I was thinking about doing a tray and trying to get all this in that little bitty tray. And my poor brain says, I am not sure it will dry in time. And this dried looking more like water than it did like sky. So I'm thinking I might do like a sea turtle or something like that down in there rather than this. Hey guys, if you would say hi when you join me, I would really appreciate it. And then we can maybe chit chat back and forth. Um, you'll notice I have a couple of stencils over here where I was debating a couple of them. I think tomorrow I'm going to do a page in my art journal box. I showed on my page when my art where my art journal box came but I didn't open it and do my usual reveal because my friend Jamie wanted us all to open them in her group and hey Connie how are you and so I was waiting politely I will give you some hints though there was this big sticker if you look back at the picture that I posted all the way across here but it's repositionable pieces so this is a part of the piece and this is a couple of pieces of it and I took off and I cut between it so I cut some of the words but I usually I'll leave it on here to close and open my box but I didn't this time because I wanted some stickers to put on my page here and there but here's this and I'll do that tomorrow I'll try to come back at two o'clock tomorrow and we will see I'm the butterfly fan not my mother so I'm putting that to the side I pulled several different things out not really sure what I was going to do not really sure what I was going to try and color paint draw what I was going to do and I'm still not sure should I paint should I try and paint this little little thing or should I try and color it with my Prismacolor mark colored pencils boats boats Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I use my marker, my pencils, because I don't have any markers. I have my stamp pads here that I can stamp with and possibly do some different background. But I think what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint. I'm going to go ahead and paint. Okay. So I have some uh, classic green maybe a little bit of the classic green and i'm gonna get a little bit i think it is fresh foliage no this is citrus green this is the fresh foliage fresh foliage and give me half of a second y'all to I want to make sure I've got the hummingbird coloring pretty good. There we go. That'll work for me. I don't want that. I want an image. Come on, y'all. Don't play games with me. <laughs> 
There we go. My mother has tons of hummingbirds in her yard. And I'm trying to see if I can kind of color this like one of her little friends that plays at her house all the time. I'm going to say we're going to need a little bit of black. Where did I put my black? That's gray. There's my black. All right. So what is everyone up to right now? Hey, Jennifer, how are you? What are you doing this afternoon? I know that Mother's Day can be one of those difficult times for different people. Um, it's kind of a torn thing around here for us. I still have my mom. Philip lost his mom several years ago. So it's one of those difficult days. And I know for a number of years when we first got married, I wanted to be pregnant and wanted to be a mom and couldn't get pregnant and couldn't seem to get it going the way I wanted it to now. Turns out we just had to wait on God and his timing, but you know, this is one of those difficult subjects to discuss. But we can just call it card making if, it, if that makes anybody feel better or less upset. I'm going to pick hmm, no, okay, I've got a little bitty liner brush. Let's see, it says round number three. It's not got a very big tip on it, but I'm going to put some kind of black around this little eye. And I'm going to use this round because it's kind of got a pointed tip on it, and I'm going to try and give him. And that typically flows out into his beak. Well, I was at work, but the power's been out since 11.30 this morning, so I'm just waiting on a ride home. Oh, boy. Well, you know, that's always fun, waiting on the ride home, and then hopefully you'll have power at the house, right? How's your arm doing, Jennifer? What are you up to, Connie? Okay, I'm just trying to kind of gently pull this down into that beak. I will probably take some white and add some highlights toward the end because we want to be able to see this eye in the beak kind of to a degree, but we don't want it to be like overwhelming. So and I'm going to go ahead and black. Planning for kids' classes. That sounds like fun. So I'm going to go ahead and do some black or dark feet for him. For her, it, for this bird. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of put them in there for right now, okay? But I can always go back over it when I need to, but I think most of that body part is going to be white, and I don't want to overwhelm myself or lose it somewhere along the way. And I have been known to... To misplace the rest of the body when I paint over it. If it's not dark enough before I paint over it. So we're going to do a pretty ruby throated one. So let me find a pretty red. Oh. Y'all I just. Uh, Got to remember these colors are over here. I was grabbing some of my non-shimmery colors, and I'm doing a, a really pretty hummingbird, so I got to get my shimmery colors. We have Raspberry Flash, and we're going to see if that looks good for his... Uh, if y'all hear noises in the background, I'm sorry. We've been having trees removed for the last two days, and I think those guys are back to get the rest of the trees. So it may be a little noisy around here. All right, so yesterday I was talking a little bit about what we've got coming up with painting and vine, Deborah Wright, and our home base essentials. And while I've got at least one or two sets of ears here, I'm going to ask my questions again. 
with what we're building, we would like to know if you could help us out. What are two things that you think would help your business grow or maybe even start a business if you haven't already? And then what are a couple of things you've seen others do that if done differently would bring more benefits? So what are some things that you can think of that might help your business grow? If you had a coach or a mentor to help you with it or do it through some of it, what could maybe be done? And is there something that, that's been done but maybe could be do, done better? Like if you were the one in charge, you do it this way instead of that way. Because we are trying really hard to make this membership that we're fixing to launch at the end of this month beneficial and helpful to any and all of our crafty friends. Oh, I'm going to love this, I think. Okay, can y'all see the iridescence in this? This is the folk art flash color shift and it is the raspberry flash. I think you can kind of see it there. That where it looks like the light is shining on it, across it, is really kind of it shimmering and changing a little bit. So, hey, Tammy. What are some things that you have seen done that has helped businesses, but if it was done differently, it might benefit more? What are some things that you think might would definitely email marketing? Like, what about email marketing? What specifically? Are you having trouble being consistent with it? Are you having trouble getting it set up? Um, you and I were supposed to talk, Miss Connie, because you're using what I've been told. See, I've never used them. I, I kind of refused to use them when I found out they were, I heard so many rough stories about them, I think. Okay, I'm going to do my green here and Jennifer how's that shoulder by the way hey Tammy how are mom and dad doing and is there something specific in email training that you're thinking you need you you could benefit from Connie like when you say email marketing are you saying like somebody walking you through building an email all the way through from start to finish and helping you to see or lead generation pages and how that can all connect to your to your email. Or did you have something specific? We do need to try, talk. I struggle with Aweber, so I defaulted to MailChimp. Well, you know what you we typically do. We 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 default to what we know best. And we we can talk most definitely need to talk. Okay, I think this might need a second layer when it gets dry. I'm not real sure. We will. I just answered like I was on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing good. Okay, well, you know, we typically do discuss them more when we're on the phone than when we're not. Okay. Okay. Um, the ends of these wings look like they're a little darker. So I think what I'm going to do is take this lighter green and come across this ridge right here. And across this ridge. Also website development. Yeah, that's, you know, I wondered for a long time if I even needed a website myself because we've got Facebook, right? Well, in the last year, I'm going to say in the last six months because it's been since October, we've had so many changes with Facebook that I'm definitely thinking that you need a website, a place that you can fall back on. And then, okay, well, what kind of website do I need? Do I need one that's shoppable? Do I need one that's not shoppable? And how do you, you know, what integrations do you need to pay for? What do you not? And all those extras, it just, it blows my mind sometimes just sitting there trying to consider and think and figure it out. And I'm like, how crazy. 
Okay, his tail is a little darker, but I think this top right here, I'm going to put in this shade. Right here. Most of his underbelly is the white, so let me rinse this off and grab a little white. Okay, well, sorry, I didn't mean to put my arm right there in the camera, but finally got it out of the way. All right, so I'm going to do some of the belly here with this white. And this is an off-white card, so if I do this right, it will show up eventually. Currently use Weebly with Square. Tried WordPress, but way over my head. See, I, I have mine through Constant Contacts, mostly because I can pay one fee and have one login and have it all tied together. And for me, so far, it has worked well. I just keep everybody all in one little space. And it's all right there. Now, some things, they have an app, but some things I haven't managed to make jive on the app. But that's, that may be technical error on my part. But I typically go in the other way anyway. I typically go to my web browser and log into it that way anyway. Because I don't... I know I can get it done that way, so I don't waste time. Does that make sense? To me, it's not really a waste of time, but I don't spend time doing it. Does it have a blog option? Yes, it does, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, it does. And if you already purchased your name somewhere else, you should be able to, to get a hold of, to con take it, your name with you. Like if you've already purchased your domain name, you should, and I say should, be able to take that domain name with you to wherever else you go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put some white under here because I think this part of these wings is going to be white. And then you, have, you do have your domain. So you should be able to take it with you if you chose to move to Constant Contact. And then you they, they give you a website with either plan, the $20 a month or the email plus that's the 45 a month. Now, you have to pay or have already owned your domain if you want it to be something other than like escape and paint dot constant contact. Now, I bought my domain, so mine doesn't say escape and paint dot constant contact. If you already own your name, yeah, we do need to set up a time to talk. Message me. Private message me when you're free because when you're going to be available and I'll let you know if I'm available. How's that? Um, okay, I'm trying to make this look kind of like this and I can always come in and smooth that out a little bit. All right. I think I'm going to go back to this green for just a second. I want to make sure I get all that out and come around here with this green. And I'll have to come back with my black and do a thin line in there. I'm getting that little bit of white off of there and coming back. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put that over here this way. All right, so these I want it to be just a little bit darker than what I had on the tip. So I think what I'm going to do is take, that was the emerald flash. Do I take my dragon flash, which is kind of a blue green and mix it with it and see if I can get a little bit darker? Or do I just mix regular plain green with it and make it a little darker? I want him to be iridescent because they're pretty color shifty. Does that make sense? Ooh, that may be Let's just see what this looks like. I can always cover it up, right? It's rather blue-greeny. I think I want a little bit more than this. Most of them look more brown on the ends. So I think I'm going to mix just a touch of black. Or maybe too much black. Mm 
Let's see what color it looks now. It's got kind of a feel of a darker color without it being too much of the wrong color. There we go. Well, for those that missed my live yesterday and haven't heard or seen but the posts on my page, we are opening our members a new membership, a new deal where we've, uh, oh, what is it, collaborated? Yeah, that's the word, I think. We've collaborated with Deborah Wright of Painting and Vine. And we are going to be offering the uh, tech assistance kind of stuff like we love to do. And Philip's so very good at doing. I think that looks just about right when you look at it. It's greeny brown-ish. It's not too dark. But I think it's dark enough to be the dark that's on like a real hummingbird's wing when I look at the pictures that I'm seeing. To me. And it's open for, okay, so oh, I purchased the Microsoft 60, so I should cancel if I'm using Constant Contact, right? I think you should be able to cancel that and then get, get in there with Constant Contact. I mean, like I said, for right now, unless your list is over 500 already, your email contact list is over 500, you should be able to pay like 20 bucks a month for just the email. Now, you won't be able to segment your lists automatically through them, but if, you're, if you know how to do it when you're bringing people in and importing them, you can bring them in by locations and things like that and then have it segmented in, the, in their and just mail to the different lists that you want to mail to based on location or whatever. But And as you grow your business, like for me, there's some things that I have paid for the convenience of because I'm still new enough to business that I don't know how to do this on my own or I didn't maybe know how to do it, but it's, you know, here it is now. It's, com it's, uh, included in certain things that I've got. And I'm like, okay, that's great. I'd rather have it included and be able to use it than not know how to do this, not have it included and not be able to get the answers that I need to get when I need to get them. But that's... Then, as I got busier, instead of it just being about, okay, well, I didn't really have the time to do... I, I, I really don't have the time now to do what I was doing when I was maybe banging my head against the wall the hard way, going a little slower and trying to do things the easy way. But I try really hard to, to not make things overly difficult. And if I can help somebody see the easier way, an easier way to do it, not cram their head into the wall, then... By all means, I will help whoever I can in every way I can. Because who wants to keep making the same mistakes? Not me. All right. I'm kind of liking how this guy's turning out. All righty. I think what I want is to get just a little bit of black on here. And I might even need to put just a drip of water right over here at the edge and kind of water it down just a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that. I put a drip of water over here and I'm kind of making it what inky. Just a little bit inky. Hey Pam, how are you? Okay, I'm going to kind of try and do like a wide outline of our little hummingbird here. But yeah, Connie, we need to talk and, and we'll see what we can't do to help get that squared away there for you. In 
help you figure out what you need to know to, to make whatever work, whether it's Aweber or Constant Contact. Again, for me, I thought Constant Contact was easier to use than any of the other ones. It made it very, was fairly straightforward. Um, they've just added some new features on this version. So if you're using an older version of the thing, if you're a newer referral, you won't have to worry about it. You'll be on the newest version of it. But um, if you're using an older version of the, the software, you don't have what's called the social... Uh, they just added a button where you can add it and your people who are reading your email can then go in and click on that and they can share it to their social media. Not just a, uh, for me to share it on social media, but for them to be able to go and then you can say, Hey, if you're enjoying my content, my kit, my whatever, then please do me a favor and share it with your friends. Here's just click these links to share on your media. That's my favorite hands right there. <laughs> I was like, who is saying that? And then I looked over at the picture because all I saw was the words for a second because I got brushes in the way. Hello, my love. How are you? Oh, and now I can hear me in the back room where you're watching. That's funny. All right. So I'm kind of trying to outline it gently. So I keep turning it because I'm trying to make sure I don't stick my hand in anything wet. <sighs> listening to this tractor. Yeah, I'm listening to the tractor go by too. I told them earlier already that we had trees coming down. So if they heard anything, then please forgive because the trees... We're tearing up the yard, what we had left of a yard, knocking down the carport, or about to, and then the front yard, the one that we had taken down yesterday, was tearing up the driveway. So, what else? Can y'all think of website development and email marketing? Those are big things. And, and is there something specific that you think about those that would be helpful? Like a, when you say it, do you mean the in general, like you just need better guidance using the tool you're using? Or do you want better guidance uh, in... Uh, Hey, Connie, I think Philip is asking, does 365 allow you to, to email like big, big emails? Okay. Yeah, and they've been around for 25 odd years and they keep, they keep on ticking. Let's just say it that way. I'm not complaining about it. So far, they've been really fairly easy to use. When we have a problem, I get we get on the phone and the tech takes care of it pretty quick and pretty easy. Philip, yes. Connie says yes. I don't know if y'all are replying to each other or not the way I'm seeing these. I don't know if you can it, how y'all see them, so I'm just kind of trying to when I ask my question of what is something that you think you need some more help with or that you think would benefit and help your business to grow, Connie said email marketing help and uh, website development assistance. So that's definitely something to... All righty. Almost done with this. Yay. Now I've got to get a flower in there somewhere. I just wanted to make sure I got my hummingbird on there. Okay. So it does go my way. Okay. So you see how shiny he looks? It's kind of a metallic, but without, but it's not as metallic. It does look like there's some yellow in there and some green in the green and stuff. 
So I'm thinking it looks pretty awesome. I think what I'm going to do, though, is go over this dark with a little bit of red, and then I'll be done with him. I kind of wanted it to blend a, whoop, blend a little better than that. Okay. So Pam, if you're still watching, what it? Thank you. So Pam, if you're still watching, what are some things you think you could you you could use help with in your business, or what are some suggestions of things that you think people need to make sure they know about in their business to help them grow? All right, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it this way. Or if I'm going to do it this way. I think I'm going to do it this way and maybe try and do a, a flower up the side. How did you guess, my love? How did you guess? Yes, this is for my mama. I was going to do a butterfly and then I decided, well, this is for my mother, not for me. So, there we go. Alrighty. I think that's got this part done. And I will probably just add a few little leaves over here. Hang on, I'll do it. Um... Let me grab a yellow, a little bit of a yellow. No, I think I can do it with the, the light green. I'll just light green and dark green. And I'm gonna I'll drag it down that side. I'm gonna kind of do a little a little stem. Okay, I gotta switch to the different brushes because those just are wimpy. <laughs> it's just falling over. It's not even gonna stand up and dry. Alright, so I gotta get a bigger one for a leaf. I'm gonna put a leaf on here real quick. At least I'm gonna try to right fast. These are kind of sloppy leaves, but it's because it's on that folded edge there, and it's really kind of hard. And I'm not really sure the flower that we both grow that they tend to love the most, the Mondo or Turk's Cap. It's a very dark green, kind of stem-like plant with pretty red twirling kind of flowers. We'll see if I can even try to pull off that flower. Y'all, Philip stuck a little link in there for y'all uh, about what we're coming, what I said we've got coming on our end in the very near future. Um, so... Okay, let's see if I can get that image open. Nope, it's not going to open that way. I want a big image of this so I can look at it real quick up close and open the image in a new tab. Yes, please open that image so I can, oh man, they're going to leave it teeny tiny on me. Okay, so it's really pretty red. And what I might do, because those leaves are a lot bigger, really. So I'm going to take my, my scruffy friend here. And I'm going to kind of scruffy in my brush, my background. I'm going to have to hit that beak again. 
and fix him. We'll just have our leaves kind of in our background. We'll fix that beak right fast. Oh, and that needed some white highlights, didn't it? There's that eye fixed. My beak needed just a touch of white. Kind of come bottom of the beak there. Just the tiniest hint right in here of white. Ooh, I'm liking the tip on this one. It's nice and sharp. I may have to just save it for just these kind of things. And not allow it to be used for any other other painting. So, let me get the red on here. Okay. I'm just kind of doing some little C's here because this flower actually looks like it twists and turns as it's coming down. And I have not figured out all of how that works yet. So some shading may be in there involved in that and some of the Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse that one off. I'm going to get just a little bit of red on the tip, and I'm going to pull it out and do my little stamen that kind of sticks up out of them. Just have a little stamen that kind of sticks up out of them with all the pretty on them. Okay, I'm going to put just a tit tit to some white in there in the tops. So I kind of have a little bit of white in there. Not loads, just a little bit there at the top. And then just a little bit more over there. And I think I'm going to grab some of the black and kind of trace. And trace. Give it a little bit of definition in there on those. Okay. And I will kind of give it just a little bit of more of a stem in there. Because it is sticking up a little closer, right? All right. Well, thank you everyone for chit chatting with me while I was painting this. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day if you are a mother. And I plan to come back tomorrow at roughly the same time my goal is two o'clock and i will be reviewing jamie's box and probably doing a journal page with the goodies that are in her box or some of the goodies that i got in her box the hummingbird. all righty guys let me switch cameras come on there it goes
It takes its own sweet time sometimes. Special guest star. Really she just wanted you to see my pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for chatting. And I look forward to catching up with you again in a minute, Connie. And y'all have a great afternoon. I'll see y'all tomorrow at 2 p.m.